In this video, we're going to talk about the power editor. So the first thing to do is to actually get there. So you can get there by clicking up here and going to power editor. And the power editor has a lot of very powerful tools that the regular ads manager doesn't. In fact, a lot of times when they roll out new features, they'll have it come out first in power editor and then later in ad manager, or just maybe never in ads manager. In fact, um, lead ads, which if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that's one of my favorite, uh, favorite types of Facebook ads. They never came out in, or, or the, originally they came out in Power Editor and then later they came out, I think, in Ads Manager. Um, so l now we're here in Power Editor. So a few things to know. One is if you make a change here, you have to review changes and you can add it. So I have this campaign, Test Website Clicks. Let's go ahead and say, uh, let's say I wanted to edit this. Say I wanted to make it 30, just budget. You'd see it says review changes. Having some issues there, but um, basically uh, the moral of the story is you see it says review changes. So you have to review changes and continue before it'll actually get set up in ads manager. So let's take a little look around power editor now. So the first thing to look at is these are all, oops, this is the campaign level. This is the ad set level and this is the ads level. And if you were to click on this, I were to click on the test website clicks, it'll narrow down. It'll only show that information. I can go down to the ads. I can go here the ad set within the ad set as you saw me do a second ago you can click this little edit button and edit the name or you can go over here to the side and actually edit the real information uh, and this is very similar to as what we see in ads manager so now it's kind of annoying in my opinion sometimes because oh now when I go to the campaign level there's only one campaign so all you have to do is exit out of there you can also add here um this is basically filters so campaign let's see let's say active let's say i just wanted to show my active ones it would only show active ones there let's say i wanted to there's also all these filters here and i did a video before on all the different types of filters. It works the same way in Power Editor. Another thing that's interesting is, well, duplicating is one of my favorite things. It's one of the best things in my opinion about Power Editor. So let's say I wanted to duplicate this. Number of duplicates, one. Test website clicks. So you see there's the copy. I could change that to whatever I want, but then I'd have to go review changes continue before it would actually apply. So, so far there's been uh, a few things that are kind of interesting, nothing too crazy. I'll, I'll save for later in this video, my favorite part about Power Editor, but um, let's do a few other things before we get there. So another thing you can do here is if I were to, let's say all these ones that have test in them, I could apply a label, like our campaign tags, test. And this just helps for sorting purposes. Apply. So then if I wanted to, I could go down. Oops. Um, so, okay. Let's see what else we have. Obviously, we have revert here, quick draft, and reports. I'll do a different video about reports because I think that'll, that'll be more important for later videos. But now, actually, let me show you one of my favorite features. So, done. All right. So let's take the DIY guide lead generation. Let's take that. And one thing we can do is export it. Export selected. And it's going to come up as a CSV. And this just opens up the world to so much fun stuff. So here's what it would look like. 
So you can see here, here's my campaign. Or these are all the different ad ad sets right here. Let me see. So you can see the ad set ID, ad set name is probably the easiest thing to look at. So this is all the different ad set names. Then we go down the line. A lot of these things you probably won't want to change. Link but there's certain things like, for instance, this is where it starts to get interesting. You could change, let's say I wanted to copy all these and make the same ad sets. But all I wanted to do was change this from women to men. I could do that. And this, I'm curious, this might actually cause a small, there might be small errors. I don't remember if it's supposed to be men or male, but it, if that's women, I assume it's supposed to be men. Let's go ahead and delete. Let's try this out though. So I'm gonna save this file. Go file, save as um, men DIY guy needs. So now let's go back and let's go to import. Import ads in bulk. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over here. Imported one campaign, ad sets, 10 ads. So there was errors. Okay, so there was an issue with the men is not consistent with women from row two. So I, th I think one of the issues was I did, I just copied this over and the ad set ID as well. Uh, I'm gonna try deleting the ad set ID. I forget exactly the proper way to do this. Let's see what happens if I just delete the ad set ID. This, this probably isn't right. So the next issue was the ad ID needs to be deleted here too. So column DB. Uh, let's see where else. So I deleted it here, the ad set ID and the ad ID because the ads are also brand new and they were being associated with a, a past one. So you can see now it was imported. Let's see if it actually was done successfully. So when I go in here, yep, you can see all the men ones were imported. So the start time must be in the future. The problem was because I copy pasted it. It, um, it had a little bit of an issue, but that's an easy fix. I can just edit ad set. Yeah, and just change the start time there. I should have actually fixed that in here. I thought I did. I thought I put the ad start time there, but apparently there were some issues. So that's just something to look out for in the future. But you see the basic of it. Basically, you export it. You export a file and you can manipulate it within the CSV. Uh, I could do another video about this if this is something you guys are interested in. I haven't dived in too deep, but you can see all the different columns. You can see basically everything about it is here. The call to action, is it a sign up or is it a learn more? Um, we have what kind of, is it optimization goal lead? Obviously, is it active or is it paused? We have uh, the ad name, the, the link description, all kinds of stuff, including the targeting. I'm trying to find the targeting right now. It's gotta be over this way. Yeah, you can see here. So this was the custom audience. This is the income. So there's a bunch of data here and it I know it looks kind of confusing, but you can see income equals, you know, 125,000 to 150,000, 150,000, 250,000, et cetera, et cetera. So there's so much stuff you can do by exporting this, but it just makes it so if you wanna duplicate lots of campaigns over and over again, but changing little variables, you don't have to do it manually. You can do it in bulk like I just showed you there. Don't save. So those are some of the big things about the Power Editor. To me, by far the biggest feature is being able to export and import new things. And that does take a little bit of work to get very proficient at, but once you get good at it, you can just do so many cool things. So let me know if you have any questions on the Power Editor, but hopefully this gives you a general overview.